Hello again. We're looking at a problem created here if you're using an AutoCAD DWG overlay in your Inventor model and then you create a drawing view including that AutoCAD DWG. Um, here's the model. You can see I've got uh, some kind of a unit here and behind it I've got an AutoCAD DWG uh, of a building. This is obviously a silly example but the, in the scenario we're looking at the problem was that we needed precise positioning between the model and the DWG behind it and we needed to show both of these in their correct positions in a 2D drawing with the elevation behind. So note the fact that the DWG when positioned behind the, draw, uh, the 3D model does not show through. This is what you'd expect in a 3D model. However if we uh, right click and create a drawing view here um, of this, uh, let's do a front view and let's place it down here somewhere uh, let's just say OK. Uh, actually, I'm going to make that a shaded view to make this a bit clearer. And then if I go and find the, uh, the AutoCAD DWG in there and include that, then what we should see is that the DWG actually uh, leaks through. It actually shows through the 3D model despite the fact that it is behind it. I'm just going to head back to the 3D model and crop my... Uh, 2D uh, AutoCAD layout here just so that this uh, becomes a bit a uh, bit cleaner uh, so let's hit enter there this will crop the 2D drawing as well so I'll just save this and if I go into back into the drawing that will be cropped as well but the problem still remains of the DWG showing through but with a little work around we can fix this in I think about 80 or 90 seconds. I'd recommend that you do this, uh, these steps I'm going to show you towards the end of producing this drawing because uh, we're going to be overlaying two drawing views on top of each other um, and we don't want them to lose their alignment with any future model changes although we'll look at a way that we can minimize that anyway so this should be done towards the end or at the end of your drawing uh, um, creation. So first off we want to crop uh, only and show only the AutoCAD DWG on this drawing view. So I'm going to hit start sketch, I'm going to pick the drawing view that I've already placed and I need to draw around the 3D geometry here. Now we don't want to snap to anything uh, despite how tempting that is because this will bring extra lines into our sketch and will make it difficult to return a closed profile uh, for this sketch. So if you hold down control while you're sketching you see it won't snap. Uh, quite so easily to line so that's really important I'm going to hold control and I'm going to be quite annoying here and just um, drop it down very close to the edges here because um, uh, I don't want to snap to the actual edges so this you know obviously involves a little bit more effort I'm using control here to not snap uh, to the uh, to the actual model edges and then because I want to show the AutoCAD DWG I'm then going to just draw a big space it doesn't matter what this space is out in uh, out in an open area here and then when I'm about to close my line here I'm going to right click and say close and that will close that effectively that polyline that we've just drawn um, it's got to be a closed profile and you can see that will crop away the 3d model here so I'm going to hit finish sketch and then I'm going to hit crop and I'm going to pick this view sketch for the crop and that should remove the geometry of the 3D model. And now we're ready to copy and paste this view. We have to do the crop before we copy and paste it, otherwise it will come in in a different area when we crop it. But uh, quickest way of getting two views on top of each other in Inventor, um, that I can think of anyway, is to um, right click copy here on this view. Then I'll start a new sheet and then I'll right click paste. Then I've got a copy of that view and then I'll right click copy it and paste it back onto the first sheet um, if I can let's go into the let's uh, oh excuse me right click and copy it here and paste it back into the first sheet right click paste okay and now I can delete that second sheet um, and I've got two views on top of each other in the first sheet identical views you can see from the uh, from the tree here and now it's just a case of flipping around the second view so it doesn't show the AutoCAD DWG it actually only just shows the 3D model so I'm going to get rid of this crop right click delete 
in the second view this is right click delete the sketch that created the crop and then I'm going to get rid of the AutoCAD DWG in this second view as well so I just simply won't include it and now if I look in here I'm seeing exactly what I want which is the 3D geometry overlaid on top of the 2D geometry obviously these two drawing views are not actually aligned with each other and fixed in their alignment so if I click and drag the second view they're not aligned and it would become quite difficult to get them back in line with each other at this point so this is why I said good idea to do this right at the end of your model creation and when when the models unlikely to change uh, anymore one thing you can do to help with that if I double click on each drawing view I can set the view justification to be fixed I do that in both drawing views by double clicking on them view justification fixed helps with the centering and the fixing of the model view if something changes but it won't be foolproof so I hope this might get uh, someone out of a hole somewhere hope you enjoyed watching thanks